What's up, everybody? My name is Walter Hitchman. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Swolverine. Today, we're going to be talking about how sodium bicarbonate can improve athletic performance. So you probably keep an orange box of baking soda, aka sodium bicarbonate, in the back of the fridge or sitting on the shelf waiting to be used in your next cookie recipe. From cooking your cookies fluffy or keeping your cookies fluffy and delicious to helping your fridge stay fresh, baking soda can be applied in a multitude of capacities. Believe it or not, but that same orange box can also improve your athletic performance. Studies show that sodium bicarbonate supplementation can effectively negate the effects of lactic acid production, aka the burn, while you're working out, increasing workout volume, and maximizing training performance and ergogenic outcomes. So let's get right into it. What is sodium bicarbonate? Baking soda is a common name for sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate comes from trona deposits, which is a naturally occurring mineral found in ancient Salt Lake basins. Trona is processed into what's called soda ash, which is sodium carbonate, which is then used as baking soda. How does baking soda work, though? When using baking, baking soda acts as a chemical leavener, producing carbon dioxide in reaction to an acid like vinegar, which produces bubbles that helps baked goods rise to tender, moist, and fluffy perfection. When used as a supplement, sodium bicarbonate provides more dietary bicarbonate, which can increase serum levels normally produced by the kidneys and negate the effects of acidosis, a.k.a. the burn that you get. By buffering, exercise-induced lactic acid, you'll be able to push yourself past the point of exhaustion, delay muscle fatigue, and subsequently improve your athletic performance. Sodium bicarbonate directly affects your body's pH levels. So in chemistry, pH is a scale used to grade how acidic or alkaline or basic a solution is. A pH of 7 is considered neutral, so pure water has a pH of 7. Anything lower than 7 is acidic, and anything above 7 is called alkaline. So crealkaline, for example, it sits between 7 and 14, making it more alkaline, hence crealkaline. Depending upon your body part, the pH is different. However, during an aerobic without oxygen, that type of exercise, your body outpaces the availability of oxygen supply and produces ATP. A major byproduct of the anaerobic energy system is hydrogen. Increased hydrogen will decrease the pH of your muscles, creating an acidic environment. This leads to unwanted burning sensation. And we've all felt during a wad, load of barbells to failure, and anaerobic exercise such as sprints and cycling. Sodium bicarbonate has a pH of 8.4 and can buffer hydrogen during anaerobic exercise. So what are some of the benefits of sodium bicarbonate on athletic performance? The effects of sodium bicarbonate on exercise performance have been researched for a very long time since the 1930s, believe it or not. The first study was conducted at the Harvard University, with a single participant using 10 grams of sodium bicarbonate on a treadmill test. The authors concluded that performance was improved by establishing a pre-exercise state of alkalosis. Several studies since then have investigated the effects of sodium bicarbonate in exercise with the most relevant and recognized research established in the Journal of Applied Physiology in 1977. Five participants undertook 40 minutes of submaximal cycling until exhaustion 95% of their maximum power output on three separate tests, following the ingestion of calcium carbonate, ammonium chloride, or sodium bicarbonate. On average, participants cycled for 438 plus or minus 120 seconds after ingesting sodium bicarbonate, which was significantly longer than the acidosis and control conditions, which makes it a very good supplementation to increase that output. So the next uh, benefit here is endurance capacity. As the exercise intensity increases and your glycolic system or glycolytic system is working at full speed, your body can't keep up with the amount of pyruvate being produced in your body. So when that happens, your energy system shifts from aerobic using oxygen to anaerobic not using oxygen. So pyruvate is then converted to lactate or lactic acid since your body cannot supply and shuttle oxygen fast enough to your bloodstream. As a result, you experience loss of power, you have muscle fatigue, and you experience the burn from that lactic acid. This happens between 10 and 90 seconds into high intensity workout. Cranking on the aerosol bike or doing those types of workouts on a concept two can really flush you out and tap you out quickly when you reach your anaerobic threshold. But what if you could somehow buffer that lactic acid and hydrogen ions build up to prolong and maximize your exercise capacity? Well, you can't. You just simply need to add something alkaline, something with a pH that's greater than seven. Um, Again, crealkaline, an advanced form of creatine, is a great example of that. Soda ash with sodium bicarbonate is added to micronized creatine to neutralize the pH. Therefore, it becomes more stable in the stomach acid, improving absorption. Additionally, adding that sodium bicarbonate will help improve endurance and exercise capacity by significantly and effectively buffering lactic acid buildup in addition to powering adenotriphosphate, which is ATP generation, 
producing more power, more speed, and quick form energy output. Studies have investigated the effects of sodium bicarbonate on several different training protocols, including swimming, rowing, running, cycling, um, several training different capacities. In a meta-analysis in the Journal of the American Nutrition Association, the effects of sodium bicarbonate on a Wingate test was uh, evaluated. The Wingate anaerobic test was developed in the 70s to measure anaerobic power and capacity. The review found that significant effect of sodium bicarbonate was found on overall mean power in studies that use shorter rest intervals. So exercises using multiple 30 second maximal efforts to do significant benefits or to have significant benefits from the use of sodium bicarbonate as a supplement. This can be greatly attributed to exercise modalities like CrossFit or high intensity functional training and prolonged endurance training. So overall supplementation with sodium bicarbonate can really help enhance uh, performance and high intensity single and multiple bout exercises that last between 30 seconds and 12 minutes. Another great benefit of sodium bicarbonate is going to be helping with your strength capacity. So more muscular endurance is directly correlated to more muscular strength. A considerable amount of evidence has shown that muscular endurance is increased with sodium bicarbonate supplementation. Muscular endurance is commonly assessed as the maximum number of completed repetitions of a movement with a given load or weight or as maximum duration of maintaining isometric force production. So high volume training protocols using multiple sets performed to muscle failure using sodium bicarbonate has, has seen some really great effects on those types of workouts and more volume. So more reps, more sets, higher volume will inevitably produce greater muscle mass and strength. So adding sodium bicarbonate to your overall supplementation is really going to help with that. So what is the correct dosing for sodium bicarbonate? So according to the International Society of Sports Nutrition, research concludes that a single dose supplementation protocol is 0.2 grams per kilogram of sodium bicarbonate really is the minimum dose uh, required to experience any type of improvements in performance. The optimal dose, which you really want to look for to produce those ergogenic effects is going to be around 0.3 grams and higher doses at 0.4 to 0.5 may not be required, but can also help you with a higher incidence of um, better performance. So overall, guys, the takeaway here is going to be that the science is very, very evident. Um, if you are a nutrition professional, you probably also know that sodium bicarbonate is really good to produce those great changes in muscular endurance by effectively reducing lactic acid and increasing your time to exhaustion, delaying muscle fatigue. Um, so guys, if you want any more information on fitness, nutrition, health, wellness, make sure that you visit the blog at swolverine.com. Make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel and until next time.